hello. I decided to go for Team Mother's Day and uh, show you today uh, how to make a lovely spiral bouquet, uh, which you can do it by yourself every day actually, because you need to just buy flowers in one of the, one of the supermarkets, use some greenery from your garden and uh, just put it together, put it in a vase and then celebrate a special day with your mom. Flower selection. Uh, so that's the um, single roses in a lovely bunch with the sort of peachy uh, middle. Uh, that's the single carnation, single heads carnation, astromeria. Uh, so from greenery, we have the I buried R Ivy, uh, continuous, and uh, as well Thuya. Now it's the time to show you how to prepare greenery and uh, flowers um, uh, ivy. I cut the stems which we don't have any leaves uh, in between because when you have leaves below the level of water they can make it, they, they can cause some bacterials which goes to the water and make it dirty and your flowers won't last and we would like to have them last. Yeah, that's right. So it is a tuya which we, we can um, take them apart and make a smaller parts taking off the leaves yeah, leaves and the, the needles out. And we have a smaller a bit to put in our bouquet. And continuous is naturally clear, so we are sorted. <laughs> but we need to take off plastic. So Astromeria, we are taking all leaves down. Like that. Carnations, we are taking the leaves from the lower parts of stems. Yeah, just like that. Carnations, we can open them widely just using our uh, fingers and really, really delicate uh, taking them like that. Yeah, we are taking uh, leaves which are uh, lower leaves just to leave the, um, the one third of the whole stem. Now we are going to make our lovely bouquet. We start from the first flower and we are putting together them in a crossing way. We are crossing the stems, making sort of like a rhythm on the sides. Yeah. And then I would like to use, for example, my ropes. And I'm crossing stems again. Maybe Astromeria would do spiraling our stems. Then maybe Cotinus. Remember that you can uh, put your flowers like a, uh, in the regular way, which is Astromeria, Astromeria, some roses, some carnations. <music> we need to cover as well these uh, sides. So now we will go to the lower level. And the last flower, I think we need something in here. And now we have our lovely all around bouquet. To finish, we can use the uh, greenery and put it in here. So we need to tie it and cut it and put it in a vase. It's time to take our twine. It's a typical garden twine. Starting with uh, the thumb, I'm going all around above my uh, hand. Two or three times, actually. Yeah. And then I can put my bouquet on a side and just make a knot. That's it. Cut this what we don't need. And that is my loose and wonderful bouquet for my mom. We are cutting stems on the one line. So you need to prepare your cool water and put the sachet of flower food. 
using a sticks from garden just stir and then cut it depends how they will fit in vase it's always great to make a bouquet for your mom by yourself and spend some time with her with love and just a little chat about everyday life I prepared for my mom her favorite tea with some rose petal mom here